How you doing? Good to, good to be back with you here, Bobby. Good to be back. Now, everybody says you're a former astronaut. That's right. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I got to fly on the space shuttle actually twice, two missions back in 1988, 1990. So back in the relatively earlier part of the space shuttle program. But I had a great, great experience. Well, how did you get started? How'd... Well, that was, my, uh, that was my dream when I was a little boy. Actually, younger than any of the cadets we have at the Riverside right now. Uh, just always wanted to fly in space. That was back before we had astronauts, even. I was in eighth grade when the first astronauts went in space. And the early American astronauts were all test pilots. So that was my goal. That was my route. And I went to the Air Force Academy, became a fighter pilot, had a, a tour in the Vietnam War, and then became a test pilot. In 1980, I was selected by NASA finally as an astronaut and had the opportunity to fly on two space shuttle missions, uh, as I mentioned, and my, make my dreams come true. So it was quite an experience for me. So what was it like in space? Oh, it was incredible. Beyond words, really, Bobby. Uh, the experience of, one, riding a rocket, strapping yourself down to uh, four million pounds of high explosives and having somebody light the fuse is just an incredible journey word I use for that is exciting and that doesn't do it justice. It's just incredible. It's a uh, matter of fact uh, I find roller coasters kind of boring after riding a rocket. Uh, then once you're up there uh, you're weightless and it is really cool to be weightless. To be able to float around and just relax and uh, I, I use the word fun for that. It's just a blast to be able to be weightless. Do all these uh, flips. Pretend you're an Olympic gymnast, even though I no way I could do that down here, but up there you can really do some fun things. And then thirdly is uh, being up there about 200 miles above the surface of the earth, going about 17,500 miles an hour, circling the earth every 90 minutes, all the way around the earth every hour and a half. And you're weightless and you float over to the window and you look out the earth going by below. It's just an awesome, awesome experience to be able to do that. So uh, basically, uh, haven't been to any theme parks lately, then I guess. Well, I still enjoy my theme parks, but because they they uh, have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, stuff like the space yeah. uh, rides and everything. Compared to that, I guess uh, it's not compared to the real thing, right? Well, now I haven't been down. You know, Disney World's got that new Space Mountain yeah. ride. That I've heard a lot of great things about. It. I haven't had the opportunity to do it, and that, I think that'd be fun to go down and try that out. But uh, but doing the real thing is just 